Hello everyone, como es la capa? It's your girl Jasmine here and in today's live, I'm going to be talking all about the Plum and Sparrow bassinet right here. I'm really excited about this. So, pardon the extra excitement. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that is here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine Rose. I am all about clean beauty, non-toxic living, sustainability, all that good jazz. And um, I kind of want to know where you guys are calling from or just like where you guys are based. I am based in Connecticut at the moment and I am drinking raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> so yeah yeah and i'm also i, I also want to know what your plans are for today i don't really know what my plans are for today aside from this live so there's that aside from all of that i'm ready to go uh i actually want to give you guys a quick little update before i begin so some pregnancy updates currently 36 weeks which means I am in month nine of this journey. This is a very uh, interesting journey right now. It's getting really, really real <laughs> at the moment because uh, it's it's mainly it's mainly the body aches. Honestly, it's the lower back pain, the hip pain, mainly on the left side, and now I've been getting lots of pelvic pain, but that's normal according to what I've been reading on all these apps. So pelvic pain is normal. It's just my body getting ready to push a human being out. Yes, that is very interesting. All right, so I am trying to see where you guys are calling from. Um, Well, not calling from, but where you guys are based, so. Brooklyn is in the house. I know that's right. You could take the girl out of Brooklyn, but you just can't take Brooklyn out the girl. You know what I'm saying? So, um, now that all of the housekeeping is situated, I want to talk to you guys about Plum and Sparrow. Plum and Sparrow is a company I found doing research. I was looking for a non-toxic eco-friendly sustainable crib slash bassinet situation and i was reading a couple of blogs and this particular brand popped up what up to trinidad in the house uh so plum and sparrow came up as one of those um, brands that are just great for newborns and babies in general so I reached out to them and they reached back out to me and I was able to pick out the specific bassinet that I wanted and I love it. I think it's so precious and I can't wait to show you all the things they sent me. Okay, so let's just go into that. But before we even get into that, I got to show you this bump. Got to show you this bump. Bump, bump, bump. Okay. All right, so let me just take this chair out the way so you can see. Here is the Moses bassinet. Now the specific, the specific model I got, I wrote it down here. So the basket itself is the wheatgrass open, open weave African Moses basket with the vegan handles. Right here, this is made from elephant grass, and the wood stand is made from natural wood, of course. Uh, this is the original rocking Moses bassinet stand with brakes, and it is in the color, or it's a natural wood. And I love how it kind of gives off this monochromatic look. Oh my goodness. Out of breath, just give me a second. All right, so this is amazing because we can actually take it out of the stand. 
you can bring baby wherever you are of course i recommend you take baby out before transporting this place it on a firm foundation and then put baby in you know what i'm saying yeah so don't just carry baby around with it like this you know what i'm saying because safety first um also this is made from i, I don't know if i mentioned this already but this is made from an elephant grass and this is chemical and flame retardant i really wanted to mention that because that's something that is very important to me um these baskets are made in west africa yes we are supporting women from the motherland we love that okay and i actually want to show you i want to show you all the things you get with the actual basket so not only you get the basket you have to order the stand separately but the things you get with the basket let me just throw that out you get the fitted sheet which I washed I washed everything ahead of time and I just used the Dr. Bronner's unscented um, baby Castile soap um, I'll be using Dr. Bronner's unscented for everything baby because fragrances are just not good especially with a newborn you know what i mean like they just come in they just coming on to earth and then all of a sudden they gotta smell all these weird things you know what i'm saying no just unscented unscented non-toxic all that good jazz um this basket also comes with a mattress a little mattress like this although you can use the snuggle me organic which i do plan on getting i just have to measure the basket itself to see if that is a proper fit so right now i'm just i'm just setting it up in front of you guys so you can see what it looks like so this is the fitted mattress on the well, this is the fitted sheet on the mattress, and then I just place it. Actually, no, I gotta, I gotta wait. So I put that to the side. Next thing you get is the hood cover, which fits perfectly onto the basket. And this is something that you put over the actual basket and it comes with the pre-made holes so you can put the handles through and it's so cute because this basket comes with pom-poms and I'm just setting it up I set it up before but once I washed everything, I figured, you know what? Let me just show you what it looks like. Like that. So the hood liner looks like so. Just adjust however you feel is best. I think that kind of works, right? I'm a perfectionist. I think it's my Virgo moon, but um, there we go. Now we put the mattress inside of the basket. There we go. <laughs> so here is the Moses basket with the hooded liner the fitted mattress with the fitted sheet and it's absolutely precious so then you place it onto the actual stand itself we made the stand a bit snug you can adjust you can adjust the actual stand dimension so that it's a little bigger but we wanted it to fit snug and then plum and sparrow also gifted us this cute knitted blanket 
it is so precious i have to clean this but i just wanted to show you how it looks with the packaging so cute i absolutely love it i'm just gonna put it like that and <laughs> i also i also got this i don't plan on leaving this in the bassinet with baby in it obviously i know that's not a good idea but i just wanted to show you because it's so precious um i actually cleaned this the other day because i don't think i've ever cleaned it before but i let me sit down because i'm out of breath uh what was i saying yeah i don't remember me ever cleaning this ever so i made sure to give this a really good wash another thing is that um what i used to wash it i purchased a um a countertop washing machine so that i can clean all of baby's clothes I don't really want to use like the public uh, laundry mats for her stuff. And also, one of the next lives I plan on doing is um, me showing you the cloth diapers <laughs> that we plan on utilizing because we are not only clean and non-toxic, we want to save the planet and there's so many disposable diapers just in landfills not even decomposing at the moment so um i'm really excited about getting these cloth diapers and i do plan on sharing with you in the next live what they look like the brand all that stuff but um yes we gave bunny a really good clean it's actually a puppet i got it from whole foods years ago and I'm looking forward to telling stories with with bunny right 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 it's like that so i'm gonna put that right here and it's just absolutely precious right okay <laughs> okay so i wanted to um let me answer some questions while i'm here because i know i've just been rambling for this entire time thank you everyone for the congratulations ahead of time and no you are not late in this announcement i just announced late um because i wanted to protect my peace i'm all about non-toxic living so i wanted to make sure this pregnancy was as non-toxic as possible and i really didn't want to um absorb suggestions or unsolicited advice from people i just wanted to be you know so i got a question folks want to know when i am due i am due on 11 11. it is a full moon it is a friday and i'm excited now they say that first time moms usually go past their due date but the fact that i am supposed to be giving birth on 11 11 god did that's right i mean but but i already know this baby's gonna be a spiritual baby you know what i mean like I'm spiritual, Mr. Man is spiritual. I'm all about the universe, the creator, practicing gratitude, yes, and just protecting my peace, yes. So, 11-11-2022, yes. <laughs> and yes, a washing machine, yes. And I'm having a girl, absolutely, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. There might be a discount code or a possible giveaway with the bassinet. I have to, I have to see. Um, so just bear with me on that. And if you guys have not 
been here from the very beginning definitely check me out on youtube i will be posting this live on youtube as well other than that i think we are good if you have any questions ask away but just know that i won't be answering just any question you know what i mean so just be respectful and I will do the same. Mm. By the way, this is raspberry leaf tea. I did not add any sugar. I did not add any anything. This is just raspberry leaf tea. And I put it in the refrigerator overnight. It is so refreshing. And I love it very, very, very much. Mm. Another thing I want to talk about with this basket or this bassinet. So the the so baby can stay in the bassinet from three up until three to four months or when they reach 20 pounds. So this is not something that is a permanent thing but it's fine you know this takes up very little space it is just so precious <laughs> and um we're gonna figure out what what the next uh what the next type crib situation is i don't really like the idea of like cribs cribs because of the bars i just don't like the, the the idea the look of it looking like jail or a prison or something that just like keep you entrapped i don't i don't really want that um so i'm gonna try and figure out um what other options we have and there you go so question is is it true everything tastes better when you're pregnant hmm Everything tastes the same, honestly. Uh, there are some things I really don't like the smell of, like like meat cooking or like fish. I really don't like the smell of that. It just makes me like it makes me nauseous almost. I don't even want to say nauseous, but like I don't like that. Um, but everything tastes the same. Uh, I'm getting a lot more fatigued these days. Um, but that comes with the territory. And I am fully accepting of it. So, there's that. Have I had any morning sickness or cravings? No morning sickness. Uh, gratefully, uh, I have not thrown up ever. Uh, I haven't had any issues like that. Cravings? I know some people say they crave like pickles and whatnot. Like me personally, I love pickles just regardless. But I've also loved olives. I love olives a lot. Just like Kalamata olives that have no seeds. You know, you just like... You can just eat them all day. You know, that that's nice. So, um, in terms of any other... In terms of any other cravings, juice, apple juice, kombucha, anything fizzy, but mainly apple juice and orange juice, Natalie's orange juice specifically, and... I think that's pretty much it. oh I've been cuckoo for watermelon I love me some watermelon and some red globe grapes and I feel so bad for Mr. Man because whenever I buy a bag I, I rinse the whole thing off I clean it off and I just keep popping it in my mouth I don't even realize how much I just eat and by the time I'm you know by the time I'm done eating it I feel bad because he didn't really get a chance to eat anything. 
Um, same goes for the watermelon. Like, I love watermelon. I just, it's the most juiciest of fruits and I love it so much. And it's just something that you can eat and get completely full from. It is the most incredible thing. So, olives, pickles, eh, watermelon, orange juice, apple juice, anything fizzy. And that is pretty much it. And yes, she is going to be healthy. She's going to be happy and healthy and wealthy. Absolutely, Ashe. I receive, I receive all of that. All right, that is all I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my Plum and Sparrow bassinet review. Uh, I will be sure to tag the brand and that is pretty much it. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribe to this Instagram. And I will see you all in the next live, which seems to be every Saturday now. So I will see you next week, Saturday, where I talk about another amazing brand that is good for the planet and good for you just all around. So hopefully you guys enjoy your Saturday and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>